I have been asked so many times on separate occasions how I am using my informatics degree in the Air Force. I'll tell you how I'm using it, but it's not conventional. What's really good on my day ones? Welcome back to the channel. Who here remembers a couple years ago? Man, I feel like that was a lifetime ago. From 2019 to 2021 when I was working on my master's. That was just touching the tip of the iceberg when it came to informatics. And let me tell you something. The Air Force isn't big on data analytics on the healthcare side only because we have a new governing body called Department of Health Administration, DHA. So DHA, their vision is creating one global health system within the uh, government and it's trying to take all the bodies the va the air force the army the navy the marines and create one big system so therefore everything is streamlined and centralized when it comes to standardization one thing that you need to understand is information is actually a lot more accessible that's why creating an ecosystem that encompasses all of uh, the government is a lot easier versus having different governing bodies. Does that make sense? Kind of like before the Air Force had their own system, Army had their own system, how they did things generally. Which brings me to the next discussion point and that's how I'm using my degree. For those who don't know, I still do ICU nursing and I, I, I don't mind it. I, I really don't. Nursing will always have a bedside component. Besides that, other other areas in nursing will cease to exist. And you need to understand that bedside is not going anywhere. Bedside care will always be there. However, nursing branches into other things. There, there's other options. There's a will, there's a way for you to get away from bedside and if that's what you want. The hospital that I'm working at, we just rolled out uh, what we call MHS Genesis, which is a Cerner. Essentially, the name is Cerner, but they branded it to MHS Genesis. We got the bare bones kit of uh, a Cerner. I've used different iterations of Cerner, which felt like it was more streamlined. And the whole issue right now we're having is streamlining information and big cluster. Because uh, we, we've had the system a little over a year now. A lot of the processes that we're doing aren't yielding results uh, to which curtail the liking of that of the admin. And remember, uh, better numbers equals better reimbursement. In my first year at the hospital that I'm working at, I did a lot. Uh, I helped roll out MHS Genesis, and I also was one of the patient outcome experts and also the POC specific to the ICU section with MHS Genesis and all things information. Uh, imagine being thrown into that position of overseeing critical data points to make sure that they're being charted and making sure that the outcomes are that of the liking to hire admin. I did that for about a year. Let's fast forward to now, which I have been on uh, PICU for the past six months. My degree, my knowledge, I didn't know that people were watching me close. And let's just say there's some good people in admin who saw the work that I did and it helped. So I was hand selected to become one of the data analytics for the enterprise, meaning to say uh, we're looking at a big market. Um, there's a total of three major DOD hospitals in the area. We are working with each organization to curtail the numbers to a better liking at the enterprise level. There is a lot of work that needs to be done. I want you to think of what I did my first year times 10. And now we're looking at the bigger picture of the organizations within the area. And we are now looking at the nitty gritty of what numbers need to be fixed for not only outcomes, but cost effectiveness of how we're doing things, closing uh, loop ends, looking at every process and how we could better these processes so numbers do yield what we're looking for. But that's that! <laughs> I didn't want to bore you guys too much with a lot of the detail but that's what's been going on. Pretty much the gist of what I've been doing as an informaticist in my role on top of being an ICU nurse still. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care.